like this piece that I'm going to do is called the Potter's Channel. Confusion is not of you, yet my mind is unsettled. Peace is who you are, yet I am unease. Millions of thoughts running through my mind, and I know I'm supposed to take everyone captive, but how can I when they're blended in a continuous marathon? I know that I'm not weak, but I can't seem to find my strength. I know that I'm a woman of words, but somehow I've been silenced. My desire is to be used by you and have a deeper relationship too, but how can you with me if I'm manic in my thoughts, depressive in my actions, schizophrenic in my emotions, and an addict in my behavior? Wow. Yet I'm saved. Wow. What I'm going through is not breaking news to you. You knew all of this, yet you chose me to exist. How does this work together for my good and bring glory to you? I have no clue what you're going to do, but I do know that you will uncover so that I can confront. Then you can heal, and I can continue to walk out your will for my life. Well, here I am, in the heat of the potter's kiln. I, the clay being transformed into his masterpiece. I relinquish my will so he can begin to reveal the lies I concealed. The pain is oh so real. 3,100 degrees of intense heat exposing my impurities, my toxic thoughts, my malignant behavior, my paralyzing fear and self-deceit. Will I make it through this process? It feels like I'm about to implode. The light of his truth, his very essence, his concentrated love begins to surgically remove the scar tissue. Issues I suppressed, deep-rooted, messed up, too scared to confess. But my spirit man was sending out an SOS, daughter in distress. And as always, your ears were attentive to my cries, even though they were silent.